This is a demonstration on how to create a student roster report in SIS or Aspire for teachers of Nebel School District. To access the Aspire login page, start with the, at the Nebel School District homepage and click on the Employee Homepage tab. And then over on the right-hand side, <coughs> click on the SIS Web Access. <clears throat> and then the Login to Aspire SIS button. Here is some information on your SIS or Aspire login. Your username is your SIS four-digit number preceded by the letter F for faculty. For an example, an example would be F1004. If you forget this number, you may be able to get it from your school secretary or from Kim Hudson at the district office. Your district, your excuse me, your Aspire password by default is set up as the last four digits of your social security number, followed by your four-digit birth year. So that'd be an eight-digit number. After you've um, accessed SIS, or if you wish to sync this SIS password to your other Nebo passwords, you can do this from the district home page. In the upper right hand corner of the district home page, there is a link that says my account and then click on change my password. And since I'm not really changing my password here, I'm just making sure that all the password for all of my accounts are synced together. I'm just going to enter my password, my existing password three times. And then when I hit submit, <clears throat> I will get a confirmation that all of my passwords have been, uh, they're not really changed, but they've been synced together, including my SIS password. So in the future, after I've done that, when I log into Aspire, I can use my email or my Active Directory password. Once you have successfully logged into Aspire, your home page will look something like this. You will have a little link for each of the schools in which you are enrolled uh, as a teacher. To create a report, I'll go up to up to the upper right middle right and middle of the page, excuse me, and click on reports. And I'll select the type of report that I want to generate. As you can see, you can generate a roster, a worksheet, contact list, data labels, etc. I'll let you explore those different types of reports. For now, we're just going to uh, generate a class roster. I'll select the school that I want to get those reports from. And then I'll select a teacher. I'm going to pick on Tammy right now. And that will add her class. And if you note, if you notice, I will be able to add multiple classes at a time, so I don't have to go back and do this for each class. So I'm just going to go select another teacher. We'll get. Uh, try to make sure I get an upper grade teacher here. Now it doesn't work. Great. 